Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, we are going to explore a very important keyword in Java, the this keyword. You will see this keyword used a lot in Java programs, especially when working with objects and constructors. And today, I'll walk you through exactly what it is, when to use it, and how it works with real examples. Let's begin. So, what is the, this keyword? In Java, the this keyword is a reference. It refers to the current object, the one that is calling the method or constructor. Think of it like this. If you are inside a house and you say this room, you are pointing to the room you are currently in. The this keyword does the same. It points to the current object you are working with. We use it mainly when we need to refer to instance variables, call other constructors, call methods from the same class, pass the current object as a parameter or even return the object itself. Let's see how this keyword is used in the different use cases. One differentiating between instance and local variables. Sometimes instance variables and method parameters have the same name. This creates ambiguity. To resolve it, we use the, this keyword to clearly refer to the instance variable of the current object. It helps avoid naming confusion, especially inside constructors or setters. Let's look at an example to understand this better. We begin with a class named student. Inside the class, we declare a private instance variable called name. Then we define a constructor that also takes a parameter named name. Here's where the confusion happens. The instance variable and the parameter both have the same name. To avoid that ambiguity, we use this dot name equals name. The, this dot name part refers to the instance variable. The plain name on the right refers to the constructor parameter. Then we have a display method that prints out the value of this name. In the main method, we create a new student object and pass John as the name. Then we call the display method. Let's run the program and see the output. As you can see, the output is displayed. Name John, it correctly prints John because this dot name equals name assigned the constructor value to the objects field. This is how we use the, this keyword to clearly refer to the instance variable of the current object. Two, calling current class methods. The this keyword can be used to call another method from the same class. Let's see an example of how that works. Here we have a class called calculator. It has two methods, add and compute. The add her method takes two numbers and prints their sum. The compute method calls add using this dot add 510, which means we are calling the method from the same object. In main, we create an instance of calculator and call compute. Let's run the program and see the output. There we go. The output sum 15 so what happened here compute called add 5 10 which printed the result 15 the this keyword was used to refer to the current objects method three invoking current class constructors sometimes we want to reuse one constructor from another constructor within the same class instead of repeating the code we use this to call another constructor this is known as constructor chaining and is very common in java to keep code clean and dry Let's take a look at an example. We define two constructors, one with no parameters and one that accepts length and width. The no argument constructor uses this 0, 0, which calls the other constructor with default values. That's called constructor chaining and this helps us link one constructor to another. In the main method, we create two rectangles, one using the default constructor and one with real values. Let's run the program and see the output. As you can see, the first rectangle has default values thanks to the this 0, 0 call. The second rectangle uses the values we passed 10 and 20. Next, fourth use case, passing the current object as a parameter. You can pass the current object itself to another method using the this keyword. This is useful when methods need to work on the calling object or when passing it to another class. It's a great way to share the state of the current object without creating new references. Let's check out an example of this. We create a class named person with name and age. We define a method show that takes another person object as an argument and displays their data. Now here's the trick. In invoke show, we call this dot show this, passing the current object to the method. In main, we create a person named Alice, age 30, and call invoke show. Let's run the program and see the output. Output name, Alice, age 30. So by passing this, we pass the same object to another method. This pattern is very useful when working with callbacks or APIs that expect an object reference. 
Next, the fifth use case, returning the current object. You can also return the current object from a method using the this keyword. This is mostly used in builder patterns and method chaining where you want to perform multiple actions in a single line. Returning this allows one method to be immediately followed by another. Let's walk through an example to understand this clearly. We define a method setx that sets a value and returns this. That allows us to call setx.display in one line. This is called method chaining. In the main method, we create the object, set the value to 10 and immediately call display. Let's run the program and see the output. Here is the output x 10. This is how builder style patterns are created in Java using return this. Let's wrap up. The this keyword is like your current identity in Java. It always refers to the object currently in use. We use it for assigning fields, calling methods, chaining constructors, passing objects, or returning the current instance. This keyword helps us write clean, readable and chainable code, especially in OOP and design patterns. That's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.